Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. My name is Nedan Magmari. I'm a senior project manager working a special project with ADNOC. This interview is part of the virtual majlis series brought to you by ADNOC Insight in support of volunteers.ae. AI in the time of COVID is the theme of our conversation today with His Excellency Umar Sultan Al Ulama, Minister of State for Artificial Intelligence, United Arab Emirates. Your Excellency, thank you very much for joining me for this virtual conversation. Thank you for having me. Your Excellency, the world has been hit hard by COVID-19 with the global population placed under significant threat. Artificial intelligence and technology have come to the forefront to combat the virus, both advancing at unprecedented rate. So my question to you is how significant would you say AI's role and contribution has been during this pandemic. And do you think that AI will return a stature post COVID-19? Thank you for that question, Neda. And um, I think that it's quite clear and apparent that artificial intelligence is here to stay and it is one of the most important technologies when combating things like pandemics, like climate change, things that require crunching a lot of data, being quite quick with regards to the response and battling something where it's a matter of time before it gets out. So with regards to COVID, COVID is a pandemic that knows no borders. It's a pandemic that unfortunately is very viral um, with regards to its rate of spread. And it's also a pandemic that's ever evolving. Viruses evolve in nature. So for us to look at the value chain of combating such a virus, we need to look at first, how can we track this? And artificial intelligence is key to understand how we can track these viruses. The other section, let's say beyond that is how can we treat this? And with regards to treatment, AI can play a big role in ensuring that people can stick within the, the quarantines that are set, in ensuring as well that we get them to the right doctor, whether it's virtually or physically if needed as well. And then third, to also ensure that we give them the right prescribed medicine. And then finally, looking at the cure element, trying to find a vaccine or trying to find a suppressor to this virus. AI plays a big role because it can crunch a lot of data, controlled a lot of different molecules to understand how exactly we can create the right suppressing drug or the right vaccine for something like uh, COVID-19. In this regard, I think that AI is not just going to be important for this pandemic, it's going to become increasingly more important as we go along. And the more we learn to deploy AI, the more we actually understand how we can leverage this technology, the better we can be at avoiding such catastrophes in the future. Thank you, Your Excellency. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum launched a program to attract AI talent in January of this year. It seeks to set a global laboratory dedicated for AI in the UAE that includes the best local and global talents. Also, it provides a work environment that is attractive enough for people that help and help them to develop innovative solutions that will save humanity. So, how has this proceeded since? the silver isolation was set in place? Well, the, uh, first and foremost, any technology, any innovation, anything that is going to shape the future starts with individuals coming up with thoughts or let's say coming up with schematics of how it's going to look like. And then individuals as well that take forward these schematics and actually deploy them. And that is as true about artificial intelligence today as it is about every technology that has changed humanity as we know it, whether it's the Gutenberg printing press, whether it's communication or transport or anything uh, to that like. It's very important for us to focus a lot on talent. And this program was launched by His Highness because he believed that the only way for the UAE to dominate in the AI space and to actually export technology rather than just import it is for us to create the homegrown talent, but at the same time, have them rub shoulders with great talents from around the world that choose to make the UAE their home. Uh, there have been substantial investments in the UAE uh, across the Emirates, whether it's in Abu Dhabi or Dubai or, or Chad or other Emirates as well, into artificial intelligence that have attracted talents here that we can really leverage. The incredible thing is the self-isolation protocol that was set by the government has allowed us to reach people virtually and also create communities with them and, and communicate with them in a very effective manner. It has also helped us discover talent that previously was let's say public uh, shy or, or shy to be uh, part of uh, official gatherings that are out in the open or are quite introverted in, in their nature. 
And this, uh, let's say, platform that was created and this community that was created virtually allowed us to reach out to them, to engage with them, and to also work with them on creating solutions that deploy or use AI in combating COVID and beyond. Thank you, Your Excellency. I mean, these, these words makes us um, encouraged as a young Yuri national to be part of such programs and, and really like um, develop ourselves to, to have um, the future skills such as AI to, to serve our country. Your Excellency, how can we boost productivity through the use of AI and advanced technology during these difficult times? So first and foremost, when you look at productivity, um, productivity is not as important uh, if it is not effective productivity, if you actually do your job right and you are effective at your job. And historically, we've used performance appraisal as a method for us to understand if a person is doing good or bad. And performance appraisals usually happen once a year. So every year you would sit with your manager at one point of time and you would have a performance appraisal. Now with artificial intelligence, what we've realized is we do not need to wait a full year for us to understand our performance on a daily basis. And the same way that today we have wearables that allow us to see our fitness, allow us to see the improvement in our health on a daily basis, on a minute by minute basis. I think that AI can definitely help us in increasing productivity, but also ensure that we become more productive over time. Um, a certain person might be very good at writing emails. Another might be very good at doing presentations. It does not make sense for us to expect that every single person has a specific um, you know, set of skills that is generic to everyone. And what AI can do is it can come and identify to management that a specific person is more effective than someone else in a specific job. And it can also tell the, the, the manager of the performance over the days and over the weeks and over the years as well. So if we understand with time, with the data that we have of, of the work of individuals, we can understand with time how to effectively deploy people. Maybe certain people are better off working at night. Others are better off working early in the morning. We also see that some people might prefer to work at home and are a lot more effective working at home, while others really need to be in a space where they have co-workers and they have people around them. AI can really definitely enable this and then push this forward. How it can do so is through the technologies that exist today. Uh, we can use certain technologies like computer vision, uh, like screen mirroring as well, to crunch all of the data of people's work on uh, their laptops and identify what is the number of words typed per second or per minute uh, by every single individual to understand who types faster than everyone else. We also can see the trends of how they research things, how they, they compose emails, how they go about doing certain things like this webinar here right now, and give them tips and, and let's say markers of feedback that would allow them to do their job better. So in effect, we can actually create the most productive and effective population on earth using artificial intelligence, I think, in the near future. Thank you, Your Excellency, for this great conversation today. You're most welcome, Linda. Thank you for having me. Stay tuned on the Virtual Majlis for part two of this interview.